is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 hyundai sonata hybrid courtesy of jack giambalvo hyundai in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i wanted to hop in this one today not only because it is a very good looking sedan and i'm not just saying that because i own a 2020 sonata of course but this is also capable of hitting 50 plus miles per gallon i'll get into the exact mpg numbers in a little bit here but also america's best warranty being five year 60 000 mile bumper to bumper 10 year 100 000 miles on the powertrain that is amazing three years of complimentary maintenance as well so you don't have to pay for the oil changes tire rotations things like that and so in this video i will be testing out and going over everything about this one testing out acceleration braking steering feel ride quality sound system and so on so what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be actually three different trim levels for the sonata hybrid first one being blue which is the one we actually have today starting at twenty seven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars sel for twenty nine thousand nine hundred and lastly the limited starting at thirty five thousand three hundred dollars and so when it comes to the power plant that will be the same amongst the trim levels powering the sonata hybrid will be a two liter atkinson cycle inline four cylinder engine that part of the power plant produces 150 horsepower at six thousand rpm 139 pound feet of torque available at five thousand rpm but then there is the electric motor which is a 270 watt lithium ion polymer battery which produces an additional 51 horsepower 151 pound feet of torque so all in all power numbers when you combine them come in at 192 horsepower 271 pound feet of torque but so all in all that power will be sent to the front wheels through a six speed automatic by the way when it comes to the six speed automatic to put it in drive there's actually just buttons located kind of in the center here the d is going to be for drive r is for reverse p is for park n is for neutral sometimes i get questions on that so i wouldn't mention it but nonetheless zero to 60 time comes in at approximately eight seconds flat mpg numbers get ready for this 50 in the city 54 on the highway for the blue trim level that's going to be your best mpgs but then for the sel and limited that bumps it down to 45 in the city 51 on the highway which is still incredible but anyways also wanted to mention for the limited trim level you actually get a solar powered roof system that directly charges the 12 volt and hybrid batteries that's pretty cool the system also allows an additional two miles of driving range per day as well i don't have that today to show it to you guys but just imagine a solar power roof it's going to be black it's a pretty cool setup if you want to look it up anyway 686 miles of range for the blue trim that we have today i will say this isn't fully loaded up but it is showing me i have 550 miles of range left so that is pretty cool so even though it's not showing me the 686 still 550 miles of range you're going to be driving forever until you have to fill this thing up that's pretty cool but anyways before we do any kind of paddle shift or acceleration test here in our sonata hybrid did want to mention there are a couple different drive modes a drive mode toggle switch is located just behind the drive buttons they will include custom sport eco and smart adjusting things like the shift points of throttle reset response and the steering sensitivity so now having got all of that out of the way you guys i'm uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put it in a uh, sport driving mode here and let's uh let's put the paddle shifters to the test here first just want to see how quickly they react for us and then we'll move on to the acceleration test hmm. Hmm. yeah there's definitely a delay it's i mean I didn't expect the paddle shifters to be lightning quick like some of the other Hyundais, like the Veloster and things like that with the dual clutch, but still, glad they're there. You could always use it for a little bit of engine braking when you're going down a hill, maybe when it's snowing out, but they're definitely not the quickest reacting paddle shifters I ever tested. So I wanted to mention that, but now having said that, let's go ahead and give back full control to the Sonata Hybrid and let's do a quick little acceleration test here and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2021 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid here up to speed. Three, two, one go oh my gosh <laughs> actually definitely not bad this thing is a pretty decent acceleration i gotta be honest that kind of surprised me since we're in a hybrid but then again a lot of cars with the battery powered it is instant torque so it is a lot quicker than you would expect it to be so plenty of an acceleration for the sonata hybrid without a doubt but 
to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so of course you will get power assisted four-wheel disc brakes for the Sonata hybrid also regenerative braking because it's a hybrid it's got that battery powered as well but having said that when it comes to the braking feel it's different that's the way I think I'm going to describe it so it's a little bit grabby at low speeds at high speeds you're pretty much good to go but it's definitely different than its non-hybrid counterpart the Sonata without the hybrid configuration so we'll say that not a bad thing just a different thing but anyways then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension as far as ride quality goes that has been 100% on point in my short test drive today ride quality is definitely I would even say above average for its class so very nice ride quality on the Sonata hybrid as far as steering feel goes it's pretty much as expected I will say it's a little bit more on the looser side if I'm being honest so it doesn't quite point you in the direction as quickly as some of the other vehicles out there but still it's not bad it's just a little bit on the looser side that's all as far as cabin noise goes that's something I feel like Hyundai's got to work on a little bit with the Sonata and some of their other vehicles like the Santa Fe as well. You do get a decent amount of wind noise at higher speeds, maybe about 50 miles per hour and up, especially on the driver's side. So we'll say that maybe you guys can notice it right now. I'm only at 40 miles per hour, but there is a little bit of wind noise coming into the cabin. So I wanted to mention that. But I will say, having said that, you do get an acoustic laminated front windshield for all trim levels, but the acoustic laminated front door glass only comes on the SEL and Limited, and maybe that is why I'm getting the wind noise because I don't have the SEL or Limited, so maybe it's just the blue trim that we have today. I don't know, but I did want to mention it to you guys nonetheless. But that touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Visibility is 100% on point without a doubt. Also wanted to mention though, rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the Sonata Hybrid. Gotta love that. And if you wanted a head up display for even further visibility, simply go with the limited trim level and that will display your speed as well as the speed limit and some safety information up on your windshield. So you're less likely to take your eyes off the road. So it's kind of a safety feature there in itself. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 hyundai sonata hybrid all right so here she is you guys the new 2021 hyundai sonata hybrid finished in portofino gray Looks pretty darn good in the snow, I will say that. Let's go ahead and start up front of this one. First thing I wanted to mention, if you were comparing this to the non-hybrid Sonata, there is going to be a unique front fascia compared to those non-hybrid Sonatas. So hybrid gets his own front fascia. You guys could probably tell the difference if you've seen the other one right now with the chrome bar going across the entire front end there. That's probably the main difference. And also the grill is gonna be a little bit different as well. But nonetheless, to the sides, LED headlights do come standard. They do of course come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at it night, they are going to turn on automatically for you there led lasso daytime running lights love that you guys can kind of see that let me get up closer to show you but these lasso led lights actually come up onto the hood and then they slowly fade out i love this design it looks like nothing else on the road right now there are no other manufacturers doing that and i think that's pretty cool because i like the uniqueness of it but nonetheless automatic high beams actually come standard on every single trim level as well meaning if you just set that and there's a car coming in the opposite direction it is going to dim those high beams down or put it back to low beams I should say and then when that vehicle is gone it's going to put it back to high beams for you so it's yet another thing you don't have to worry about while actually driving so I think that's pretty cool full LED headlights are going to come on the limited trim level only and you will get a gloss black front grille with some chrome accents for every single trim level as well but now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the Sonata hybrid here all right so now since we are around to the side chrome window surrounds do come standard across the board matte black side sill molding coming with the blue trim level only and let me get up close to show you guys what I'm talking about here essentially what that means is these pillars that kind of connect the windows here that is going to be matte black only on the blue trim level because otherwise if you were to go with the SEL or limited it's actually going to be changed to gloss black in case anybody was curious there now moving back out body colored door handles do come with our blue trim level that we have here today you're actually going to get satin chrome accents for the SEL and limited trims then then take a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors for all trims we'll also get LED integrated turn signals for all trim levels as well. It's pretty cool. You don't always get that on base trim levels, so I thought that was pretty cool. And if you were to go with the SEL or Limited, those side mirrors will be heated 
as well for super cold freezing days in Pennsylvania quite like today. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the wheel setup looking down 16 inch alloys coming with the blue trim that we have today. Then if you were to jump up to the SEL or limited you will find 17 inch multi spoke alloy wheels and that's a pretty cool design I will say that too. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the Sonata here. All right so now since we are round back LED taillights do come standard for all trim levels you will find that Sonata lettering spelled out horizontally amongst the rear trunk there that looks pretty good. LED license plate lighting also coming standard is pretty cool you will get that hybrid badging in the back hybrid blue badging if you were to go with that particular trim level so we got that there too and of course again if you were comparing this to the standard Sonata this is a unique rear bumper for the hybrid only so do want to mention that and if you were to look down just below it all single exhaust outlet tucked away but nonetheless do believe you guys know what we have to do next it's probably not going to turn on for me since this is a hybrid but we're going to give it a shot as always here is that exhaust clip. All right, so now since we are around back of the Sonata Hybrid, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there are several different ways you can go ahead and do that. First way is, of course, there is a button on the key fob itself. That is one way, but my favorite way to open up the Sonata trunk is there is a hidden button within the Hyundai logo towards the top of it. If you simply just press in within the Hyundai logo, that is the coolest way you're gonna be able to open that rear trunk. And if you don't own a Hyundai, you're probably not gonna know about it, but that is the secret way, that is the cool way. So I would go ahead and do that. But once opened up, cargo capacity is gonna come in at 16 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it. Then make your way to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 34.8 inches. So for reference, I'm at even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Then I'm gonna also mention for those rear passengers, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders if you were to go with the limited trim level only. You're not gonna get that with the blue or the SEL. So I wanted to mention that. Rear ventilation, however, does come standard for every single trim level across the board. And there is a single USB charging port just below that, again, for every single trim level across the board. So I do appreciate that. But then make your way up to the front seat, six-way manually adjustable driver's seat for the blue trim level that we have today eight-way power driver's seat for the SEL Unlimited, and that comes with a four-way power adjustable passenger seat then as well. You will find cloth seating with the blue or SEL, and then leather seating if you were to go with the Limited. Heated front seats are going to come on the SEL Unlimited, ventilated front seats for just the Limited trim level, and then that Limited also going to give you memory settings for the driver's seat as well, so that's pretty cool. But overall, seats are plenty fine. They're plenty comfy, not the most comfortable seats I've ever felt, but they will definitely get the job done. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped if you were to go with the SEL or Limited. Otherwise, it's gonna be wrapped in urethane, which is what you guys are looking at right now. And then there is a heated steering wheel as well if you were to go with the Limited trim level only. But now let's make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Hyundai logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock that button to pop the rear hatch and the circular button with it says hold, that is going to be your remote start, which is pretty cool. That comes standard on every single trim level across the board. Do you wanna also mention though, Hyundai Digital Key comes with the SEL Unlimited. You just download an app on your smartphone. Then you don't even need your keys anymore because then your smartphone is how you're gonna get in and out of this thing as well as start it up. That's a pretty cool feature I got on my own Sonata. And ultimately it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do is simply put my phone on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the air vents there. And so once started up, what you guys are looking at is the standard gauge cluster that comes with the blue trim and the SEL. We'll say though the limited trim is going to give you a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, which is what I have in mind. I absolutely love it. This gauge cluster is all right. It's kind of old school a little bit, but it's not bad. But I will say the digital gauge cluster is better because it's more customizable. But anyways, you can still adjust a ton of different things by using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side. You can check out your fuel economy at any given time. It's probably what I would leave it on if I had a hybrid. Also a digital speedometer you could display up there. Em engine temperature, tire pressure, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, outside temperature. The list goes on. So pretty much everything you could possibly want up there. 
Then taking a look at overall interior quality, wireless phone charger coming with the SEL Unlimited. Don't have that today, but it will be located just in front of the drive buttons if you did get it. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls for the limited, dual zoom climate control for all trim levels, leatherette wrapped dashboard for the limited only, and that limited is also going to add LED interior lighting, 64 colors of ambient lighting. Actually, we have dual USB charging ports up here as well, along with the 12 volt power outlet. So where you would typically find the wireless phone charger in the blue trim, it's actually just gonna be rubberized kind of storage, I guess you could say. Just behind that, you have dual cup holders with a little slot in the middle to put your cell phone if you wanted to and I do like design a lot of manufacturers will leave this design around the cup holders kind of a boring matte black but we kind of do have a nice diamond or square pattern design located around that so I do like that just behind all of it you do have a center armrest with a decent amount of space in there so I certainly don't have any objections to that but overall it's kind of on the basic side with the blue trim level at least the limited is really going to take you above and beyond so if you wanted a lot better interior quality go with the limited trim level for the sonata hybrid here but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display now it is going to differ once again amongst the trim levels eight inch color touchscreen display coming with the blue and sel that's what you're looking at right now then if you were to go with the limited you will get a ten and a quarter inch color touchscreen display but for the most part you pretty much got everything you want on this eight inch color touchscreen display and the reason I say that you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming, you still get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, just hook it up to the Sonata Hybrid, then therefore you have free navigation displayed up on that color touchscreen display, as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs. There's a couple other compatible apps up there as well, of course. Factory navigation system is going to come with a limited trim level only, although you don't really need it if you have a smartphone anyways. Climate control settings you can check out up there as well. There is a cool little hybrid icon button on the hybrid hybrid specifically for the Sonata here, which I think is pretty cool. It kind of tells you how much battery life you have left. Also your average miles per gallon, your electric motor use at any given time. That is actually what I would leave it on. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. But anyways, you can also, of course, check out your radio information up there as well. Six speakers is going to come with the blue trim that we have today. Then if you were to jump up to the SEL or limited, you're going to get a 12 speaker Bose sound system. So having said that, you guys, we do have the six speaker sound system here today, but you know what? I haven't tested this one, I don't think, so let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out our six-speaker sound system that we have today. <laughs> I gotta be honest, it's one of the better six-speaker sound systems that I've heard in quite a while. Really decent amount of bass there. Clarity was fine, but I mean, it's not gonna be a Bose sound system, but for a six-speaker sound system, that went above and beyond. I liked that. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the tech display at least is when you do, of course, put the Sonata Hybrid in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard for every single trim level across the board, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first thing I wanted to mention, IIHS top safety pick that says it all right there. Front side, side curtain airbags also coming standard. Driver's knee airbag in the front and the back. You're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks back there, tire pressure monitoring system as well it's all pretty boring stuff at this point but some of the more exciting safety features for the sonata hybrid include forward collision avoidance assist and pedestrian detection lane keep assist lane following assist driver attention warning system adaptive cruise control with stop and go which is an amazing system for the sonata let me tell you guys you simply just set that using the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side here and it's essentially going to follow the car in front of you it slows down when they slow down even to a stop and then it speeds up when they they speed up it keeps you centered in the lane it's a wonderful system i will say that so well done hyundai for that rear occupant alert also comes standard safe exit warning a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert that's going to be the little car icons in the side mirrors all of that coming standard then if you were to go with the limited that does add some additional things like the blind spot view monitor it's going to be displayed within the digital gauge cluster front and rear parking sensors highway driving assist which is hyundai's level two autonomous driving system that's pretty cool and rear parking collision avoidance assist as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the sonata hybrid 
50 plus miles per gallon is excellent if you have a long commute to work this is definitely one you guys got to check out that is an amazing mpg number and it's amazing because you consider the size of the sonata as well you still got room to put kids in the back and car seats in the back even i've put in car seats in the back of my own sonata and it works out fine so you don't even have to fold the front passenger seat up or anything like i used to have to do in the civic so also a max range of 686 miles in this blue trim that we have today that's absolutely wonderful even seeing 500 134 is absolutely ridiculous i know my standard sonata i think it's 460 or 465 somewhere in that ballpark so that's pretty good too i guess but digital gauges also are amazing on the sonata 64 colors of ambient lighting if you go with the limited great interior quality with the limited in this blue trim it's okay not the very best but it's okay perhaps my only constructive criticism when it comes to this one is the braking feel again it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just a different thing i'm not used to it it's definitely when whenever you have hybrids and this is what i've noticed with all the hybrids that i've driven so far the braking feel is always a little bit wonky just a little bit different it kind of grabs in certain areas at lower speeds more than it should be so i don't know it's just a little bit different but overall let me know what you guys think of this new sonata hybrid in the comments section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on tiktok the bottom of the screen if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before i actually put it on youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i'll see you guys all in the next video stay gold <laughs>